Good afternoon. So here we are again now on our mini saving tips. So I'm going to try and make a spot leveler. So the leveler is going to be made out of this T-section, 2mm aluminium section. I need to fit an I need to make an angle for it. So I'm not worried about the length at the moment. What I'm concerned is I need to cut a slot in here, two millimeters wide, to fit over your this section. So, without further ado, what I'm going to try and do now, I'm going straight to the table saw, and I'm going to try and cut a slot in here somewhere in the middle. It's probably going to be about eight mil wide, I would think, something like that. Anyway, so it's over to the table saw. Okay, so I've cut this little bit of wood, a bit of mahogany off the last neck again. It's 10 mil square. And what I've done, I've run my table saw up through the middle to give me a slot. What I did, I cut the slot first. About form in from the edge and then I rip this side off and to, to get as near as damn it is in the middle as possible. This angle oh, T section by you now will fit it's a nice fit actually into the top of it. Like that. Now I've got to decide now what size I'm gonna do these <coughs> under string Leveler, spot leveler, whatever you want to call it. Stu McDonald call it under string. And they do they do all sizes, four inch, eight inch, eighteen inch. Well I got eight. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna make a three inch one and a five inch one. Two little ones. So all I'm going to do now is just cut three inches off here with an axe saw, get a bit. Actually, it's not a bad cut. So I'll do this on the sander.
very little cleaning up to do on this when you do it on the sander. I put a, it's a finer paper on there now than what I was using earlier on, so it um, did give a nice finish. I'm happy with that. Now if you want it to be really fussy when working with the aluminium, you could put it on a buffer and polish it all out. No really need in, in this case. So I'm going to glue the wooden handles on now. Um, I'm just going to have them overhanging by a couple of mil I think. I can always cut. I'll start that again, because my granddaughter was a little bit upset. Um, so, <clears throat> when I put this little wooden handle on now, I'm going to overhang it by a couple of mil. Same as I've So, just mark them roughly. I'll cut these now. I think what I'm going to do now, I'm going to glue these up. And then shape them after. I could shape them now before I put them up. But I'm only, I'm only going to do it with a little sanding block. I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to clamp it under pressure, I don't think. Anyway. So, let's mix up some epoxy resin. Again, I, I put this in more and more of this just to make it, just makes it flow. I'll put a little bit more on there. I'm going to take a chance by and try and glue the both at the same time. Started to go off already. Okay. And that's just about it. It's going to be a little bit of shaping of the wood. When they've dried, they'll be dry in five minutes. But um, I'll see you in a short while. Won't be long. I'll be back. The glue have gone off now. <coughs> so, all I'm going to do, I've decided to put 
and it will roll over on the edges. Just uh, ease it over the fat, so we thought. I think, I think so, maybe. As for the little mahogany handles, <coughs> well, I think I'm just going to knock the edges off. Nothing too fussy about it. <coughs> I spend a lot of time on it. tape on it before I stick the abrasive paper to it. It just make just makes it so much easier to take your your grit off later. Come into the end of this little fun project uh, you can <coughs> apply the adhesive the, the abrasive however you want to use masking tape and super glue if you like that sort of thing I, I don't <coughs> so again with this I put for masking tape on to protect the <coughs> or to make it easier to remove the abrasive. Put double sided tape on top then and then I've stuck my abrasive <coughs> to the tool. So just move all this out of the way. I've put micro I put micro mesh on these at the moment. This is fifteen hundred micro mesh on it, so you're not expecting to take a lot off off the fret. But if you've got a, a slightly high fret, this will do the job lovely. You can put heavier abrasive on there if you wish. So I've used micro mesh, like I said. Now this one is going to be used for spot leveling, so I can concentrate and just work on one fret. This one I can work on a group of frets. I wouldn't use this tool if I was going to work on the full length of the neck. But the idea of this is that it'll slip under the strings. And I best get a guitar to show that actually. So, so like I said, these two little tools now, this one is going to be for spot leveling. And this one, but you can do it while this guitar is strung. So you slide, slide it underneath the strings, and just work on one fret. Or with this one, you can work on several frets. You can just lift it up and move it along. Just concentrate on one fret if you've got a stubborn fret. Now you're still going to have to take the strings. Back off to one side. If, you, if you're going to take a lot off and you've got to do any crowning or anything like that. But they're two, they're two handy tools to have in a toolkit which cost no money whatsoever. So these videos are, the name of the game is to 
to save you some shimmers and pens. Both these little tools are handy. That one, £2.50. That one, £1.50. Scrap wood and the T-section aluminium bar cost me £4 in total. Now, you cannot go wrong with that. So, just to finish off, I just move my strat out of the way. Now, just to have a little recap, these tools cost a total of £4 £2.50, £1.50. End bevel file, fret leveling file, £6, £4. Two leveling beams. They cost me nine pound in total. So you're talking at nine, fifteen, nineteen, twenty-three pound. Twenty-three pound cost me to make six tools. That tool alone will cost you thirty-five pound. These will cost you. Best part of seventy pound. So, all told, I would think all these tools on the table by you now. If we bought them from Luthia Supplies. Dad. Yeah. Where are you going now? Okay, love. See, Papa. Oh, what's it there? Shop about the brand, Dad. Hello. Come and say so long, love. Rose. Come on, Rose. Say goodbye. Rose, come on. Come on, Rose. Come on. Come on, Rose. Come on. Sit by here. See what we're doing. Be on YouTube now. Ooh. Come on, up and go. What did you say? Ta da. Ta da. Say goodbye. No. Bye bye. bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Ta -da. Right, just to recap again. It's being disturbed by our Rose, my granddaughter. Right, so to have a recap, the total cost of making all these tools came to about, well, it was under £25, it was about £23. But the total cost of buying these tools from Aluthia Supplies is £180. So you can see the significant saving you can make. These understring levelers, they're not something that I use a lot, but they're just great to have any tools. This works absolutely brilliant. This is really, really good. Leveling beams. These are great. But having said all this to you now and showed you how to save money, my favourite levelers are glass plates, which I spray with adhesive, removable adhesive, put whatever grit paper you want to put on them. This one got a thousand, and I use this first, and these second. I can work the length of the fret and across the fret to take any tooling out. And these cost nothing; they were free. Just drop out a piece of scrap glass. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you got some sort of enjoyment. I try to make it a little bit of fun. When you've got your workshop, it's, you know, that my workshop is not just for making guitars, it's just for making things and getting pleasure out of uh, using your tools. Um, the only thing I haven't showed you, I haven't put a finish on these, I'm just going to put a bit of Danish oil or true oil on it, you don't need to see me doing that. So thank you once again and uh, I hope to see you soon. Uh,
I'll be starting my guitar build now very shortly, so that's going to take my time up. Um, anyway, thank you very much. Bye bye. No stop.